In today's video we're going to take a look at a very basic DeForce example and show new people to DAS just what DeForce is, how to set it up and how to run a simple simulation. Hey there, my name is Rocco. If this is your first visit to my channel then welcome. If not, if you've been around before, then welcome back. Uh, either way, if you want a whole load of tips and tricks to get the most out of DAS, then why don't you hit the little subscription button down below and the little notification bell next to it, and then you won't miss a thing when I drop any new videos in the future. So what it is we're going to do today then is we're just going to create a simple scene uh, by creating a sphere. We're going to create a sheet of fabric to hover over the, the, the sphere, and then we're going to apply a deforce modifier to our fabric run a simulation and that fabric will then fall and it will hopefully drape over the sphere and giving us a nice little look so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come up to create and then down to new primitive we're going to make sure that plane is selected in our type uh, and that y positive is selected in our primary axis and we're going to make this plane 50 foot with the divisions of one what this is going to be is just going to be our floor plane uh, and we're saying one division because it doesn't need to be any more higher resolution than that that's basically saying just have one big polygon for our floor so we'll create that and as you can see from the darker area we now have our one big fo uh, polygon which is going to act as our floor uh, before we move on what i'm going to do is i'm going to just rename that to floor because we are going to be creating another plane in a moment and i'm also going to come down to the surfaces tab and i'm just going to change the color of that because that'll be a bit bright and a bit shiny otherwise so we'll just go with that color and we'll come down to glossy layered weight and we'll just take that down to zero uh take all the gloss and all the shine off it uh, so the next thing that we're going to do is to create our sphere so again create new primitive uh sphere in the the type y positive again and we're just going to make it three foot now it's i've got already in there as three foot and we're going to leave the segments and the sides exactly the same as default uh, and just hit accept and there's our sphere that we're going to be using uh, finally we're going to create our fabric so we'll go create new primitive go back to a plane on the type y positive again but this time we're just going to make it five foot in size but the divisions we're going to put up to 100 we want our fabric to be quite high resolution so this will basically have 100 polygons across the top by 100 polygons down the side giving us a total of 10,000 polygons in our sheet so when we hit accept like that we can see our sheet is being created but it's down on the floor there and it's intersecting a little bit with our floor don't worry about that because when we select our plane and we take the the gizmo and we pull it up it's now hovering above our sphere in roughly the center of the screen uh just waiting for us to do our our deforce thing with it but before we do that we're going to come to that plane again and we're going to rename that to sheet just to be certain and then come back down to the services tab and just change its color also uh, that seems like a nice little red and also we're going to take off any glossiness on that as well so we've got our floor we've got the sphere and we've got our material uh, what we need to do now is we need to come across to the simulation settings now if you don't have simulation settings tab there you, all you need to do is just come up to windows panes and tabs and then you come down and there it is simulation settings now what it when you do that you, you might actually get it looking something like this a separate window that's fine just click on that tab and then just slide it across as to where you want it to be docked so in the simulation settings we need to make sure sheet is selected and then what we're going to do is we're going to come up to this little menu option with the four buttons and the tri uh, four lines and the triangle give it a click come down to deforce add deforce modifier dynamic surface give that a click so we've now applied a deforce modifier to that shirt uh, that sheet if we come up to parameters we can see we've now got a menu option in there called simulation one that's a quick way to see that it's got a deforce modifier but two there's a couple of little uh, or three little options in there that we could play with but for the sake of this uh, 
example in this video we're not going to be dealing with those so we don't need to talk about them much one thing we do need to talk about though is when we come back to our simulation settings the frames to simulate needs to be a current frame for this example uh, if it happens to be on one of the animated options just select current frame uh, and that's basically telling dads that we're only going to run the simulation on the current frame that we can see and we're not going to be doing uh, a default simulation over a number of frames you know as if uh, we were doing an animation so current frame is set uh, and that's it everything's all set up now hopefully so what we need to do now is come up to simulate and if we click that we should now see the fabric drape over the sphere as gravity takes hold so we'll give that a click and there we go the fabric is draping over the sphere and it looks as if it's pretty good uh, and there you go that's it that is Daz in a nutshell uh, the very basics and the very simples don't worry about them little white dots they probably won't show up in the, the final render and if they do there's an easy way to get around them uh, all there is is just the, the fabric and the sphere just intersect on the geometry because our fabric's only one pixel in thickness so we can clear that up if we need to if it causes a problem so there we go the basics of deforce uh, it's just a simple example i know but what we've learned here we'll be able to carry on to the next video where we're going to be taking an item of clothing placing it on uh, a character model and then just using deforce to simulate that clothing so that it sits naturally and accurately on the character itself uh, so if you want to see that video make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and you'll be informed as soon as it drops uh, likewise if you've liked this video and you've gotten something out of it please can you give us a like down below as it will really help the channel out and it will help me with the youtube algorithm and finally if you've got any questions whether it's about this video itself about daz in general or about deforce in general just drop it down in the comments below and I'll get back to you and answer you as soon as I possibly can. So thanks for watching. Uh, like I say, I hope you got something out of this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.